Hello and welcome back to Radically Ferocious. My name is Chantal and I'm your hotness coach. So, today we will be talking about trauma. What is trauma? What is this mysterious thing? Trauma is essentially everything that happens too fast, too suddenly, and that's too much for your system to handle. What does that mean? It means your system is not able to process what's coming in and stores it in the wrong place, essentially. And at the end of the day, trauma is stored in your body. That is the essence of trauma. It's not going to be able to be released out of the body by doing mindset work and by talking about it. You need to release trauma through your body. What does that even mean to have trauma? Trauma is a highly, highly individual experience. Anyone who is going to diminish or to, to speak in contempt about other people's trauma is not sensitive because trauma is very individual. What can be traumatizing for me is not going to be traumatizing for you and vice versa. What is traumatizing for you is not necessarily traumatizing for me. And it depends on our upbringing. It depends on our attachment that we've had when, since we were children. And it depends on so many different factors on, on resilience that you were able to build within your life. And of course, on how regulated your nervous system is. And that is something that we talked about in the nervous system video, right? And what does regulation really mean? Regulation means that you're able to feel and release all the emotions that you have. You have everything in your body. You can feel it, you can process through it. And I'm not saying thinking about emotions, you know what I mean? So I'm not saying that you should think, oh, I'm sad. I think I'm sad, but you don't really feel that, mm, that, heaviness of sadness, the, the wrath and anger, the shame, the guilt that makes you feel so little. That's what you need to feel, what needs to pulse through your body and needs to be released. Because we all let out emotions, right? I'll do a you know, uh, um, bigger video on that one, um, but Trauma essentially then hinders you from expressing certain things because trauma is stored in your body. It gets stored as trauma energy because the normal process would be you experience something, your body releases it by either crying, shaking, screaming, maybe even laughing, yawning. <laughs> and then once it's released, it's gone, that's it. But trauma energy is not like that. Trauma energy stays in your body. Trauma energy is in your cells. And you can even have different kinds of trauma. So there's, for example, developmental trauma that happens when you're developing. There's attachment trauma that happens in the first, I would say first three years of your life. Most importantly, the first year. It depends on how your parents responded to you. Did they let you cry? Did they not attend to you? directly, you may have a trauma or attachment trauma. That means you do not have that basic trust towards your parents. You can have secondary trauma. If you've witnessed somebody being robbed, if you witness somebody being, you know, assaulted in any way, you can have shock trauma that comes from, um, like an accident. And one of the like leading trauma psychologists in this world, Peter Levine says that Developmental trauma is shock trauma because essentially all trauma acts alike in the body. It doesn't matter where you, whether you have a, a shock trauma or a developmental trauma. And we differentiate that um, with PTSD in the sense that with PTSD, you do have these flashbacks, you have these extreme sensations, you have this disassociation that you're stepping outside of your body once you have a trigger. Whereas with trauma, I mean, with, with trauma that does not trigger PTSD, you would have activations. You don't really necessarily have triggers that cause a flashback. 
you have activations that cause you to react a certain way. So you can react in the four ways of trauma response, which is fight, flight, fawn, or freeze. Most people don't know fawn. Fawn is to kind of be submissive, to say, yes, you're right, to um, people please so that you don't have to face any consequences. And while fight is fairly, fairly easy to explain and flee, you're just running away, um, freeze is really the situation where you can't do anything. You're like, and I'm sure you can relate to that in so many different situations of your life. And so when we have that trauma energy and we stop feeling emotions, we stop letting emotions run through our body, this is exactly what's gonna cause us depression. This is exactly what's gonna cause us to look for drugs, to look for addictions, or to not necessarily look for them, but to have addictions, because we need coping mechanisms. That's what coping mechanisms are for. Coping mechanisms are essentially not there if you didn't have trauma, they're there because you had trauma. I'm trying to get rid of all of them. So I used to eat as a, as a coping mechanism to fill myself up. I used to distract myself with PC games as a coping mechanism. I used to distract myself with boyfriends as a coping mechanism. Um, also because of the father wound that I have, or I had because of it. Um, I used to fight as a coping mechanism because attack is better than defense, right? So this is what trauma does to you. It fucks you up. It keeps like piling on top of each other like shit, like you're full of garbage. And underneath that garbage is a beautiful garden that just waits, that's just waiting to bloom, that's waiting to be, you know, be there, be on fire. I mean, obviously garden and fire is not a good thing, but in case of my branding, you know, fire, it's igniting that fire and it's actually feeling whole and feeling alive again and feeling alive with all of your emotions, no matter whether they're good or bad, positive or negative, it doesn't matter because that's the polarity of life. If you can feel sadness, there is this extreme joy there as well. If you can feel um, loneliness, you will have the connection on the other side. Isn't that beautiful? If you can feel anger, you can feel peace. Everything exists within you if you can feel one extreme and that's the polarity of it. You can even feel all these things at the same time. And being regulated and regulating yourself and being free of that trauma is just the most essential thing for us to thrive and to feel fucking happy. And this is why releasing that trauma is so important. So I'm going to make another video on how to release trauma, essentially. Um, and with trauma, the baseline is always pain. Pain that something's been done to you. A wound that's just open, that hasn't healed, because time does not heal wounds. Time conserves wounds. This is some bullshit bingo fallacy that you've been told in order to make you feel better. But you have to release your trauma through your body. The way it came to you through your body, it has to be released through your body. So, let me know in the comments what you think about this. If you feel like you've been traumatized, we've all been, I've been extremely traumatized within my life. So feel free to share anything that you, that you feel safe to share. And I'll come back to you with another video soon on how to release trauma, on how to regulate your nervous system and all that goodness. Alrighty. So thank you so much for watching. Catch me on Instagram at radically ferocious underscore. And if you feel me, you can just join me on Twitch as well radically ferocious as well, but I just love to see you on Instagram and hang out with me. All right, talk to you soon.